It's time to begin the color unit. In photography, it's a good idea to pay attention to the colors that you see when you're taking pictures. Photoshop can do a lot for you when you're talking about color, but it's a good idea to keep in mind that you don't want to have, oh, say, a red wagon right next to a pink shirt. It does kind of grab the attention a little bit. And we will talk about that one here in a moment. But before we begin, we're going to first learn how to use blending modes. This is something that you can do in Photoshop to enhance your photos. Then we're going to talk about how to make a black and white picture become a color picture. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how to isolate some color. Like I said, that red wagon is a little bit annoying. So if we just take the color out, then you don't notice it near as much and it becomes a more enjoyable picture. I really liked this picture. I liked the line of the boy's hand going up to his face and leading you into the picture. I thought it was really good, but that was a little bit annoying back there. So it was nice to just pull all the color out of that and then we can just focus on our subject and it simplifies your picture a little bit. So now we're ready to begin this blending mode worksheet. Go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. And it looks like this to begin with. And these layers may seem a little bit confusing, so let's go ahead and go through those right now. The labels is something that you're going to do later. You will put labels on each one of these little frames so that you know which blending mode that you used. All of these are these little colorful boxes and behind each one you'll notice the same little boy that you saw earlier is looking out at you through the window. You'll also notice that all of them are named with what's called a blending mode. Your blending modes are here and we're going to talk about each one of these. And lastly here is the image. So if I make this layer invisible you'll see that all of the images are on that layer. I mentioned earlier that we are going to change a black and white picture into a color picture. So to give us a good idea of what the blending modes are gonna look like, let's go ahead and copy this image layer, Command J, and rename it images black and white. And then of course you have to make this image black and white. Image adjustments, black and white. Now your color images are still there. We just put the black and white ones on top. Now it's time to jump into this blending mode layers folder. And for each one of these, I want you to change the blending mode. Again, here's your blending mode. It controls the color or the layer that you have selected. So right now we want this one to be on normal. It's on normal. Let's move on to the next one. This one is dissolve. And if you'd like to, you can zoom in and see what it does. And scoot over to the next one. We want that one to be darken. And that's very different from the last one. Moving on to multiply. So this is very simple. You just go down the line and see what each blending mode does. After a while, you'll notice some themes going on. For example, so far, all of these ones have made the color darken the image helpful that darken is on top. That helps you remember. So what do you think the next set is going to do? Most of these will lighten up the image. Another thing I might mention here is that you can use the opacity to control how much of that layer goes through. So this one if I just wanted to have a little bit of that, a hint of the lighter color shine through, 
then I could lower that opacity. But for practice purposes, we'll go ahead and leave it high and just go through the rest of these. And when you finish, you'll be ready to label.